Welcome to City Light Kids TV Easter Edition. Happy Easter! What a wonderful time to gather together and to celebrate God's great love for us and the sacrifice that he gave us in Jesus. Now, I bet you might have had some Easter eggs already. Did you know that Easter eggs can help us to remember the Easter story? Let's find out more. Happy Easter, everybody. Have you been eating Easter eggs this morning? We're going to eat some now. Mm. Yes. Ooh, that's so cool. Oh, this is... Ooh, yummy. There's nothing in there. This that is the I... meaning of the tomb. But... How Jesus rose again. Nothing is there. And Jesus died on the cross. Just chocolate. Mm. Yep. But it's not about chocolate. <clears throat> not about the Easter bunnies. No, no. Not about the hot crust buns. No. It's about Jesus But all God. of them do have meanings. Hot crust means, buns means the cross. Um, Eggs are also new life. And <laughs> also our hearts are changing. Mm -hmm. You're mm. born with a sin heart, and then when you trust in God, he forgives you. Mm -hmm. For older people, I love them to keep down the cross. For older people, I love them to take away their sins. Once you're forgiven, them, you're forgiven forever. Easter egg. Easter, egg. Easter egg! Easter egg! This week, there is an earthquake in our Bible story. I wonder if you can make an earthquake right now by stomping your feet on the ground. Do you think you can do it? Let's see if the ground starts to move. All right, start stomping your feet. Whoa, whoa. Okay, it's working, it's working. Stop, stop, stop! Great work, everyone. Now it's time for our Bible. Oh, I forgot my Bible again. Hey, you remember what we did last week? Let's try this again. I'm going to count to three. We're going to call out Bible and maybe it'll appear in my hands. Are you ready? One, two, three. Bible! It worked! Thanks for your help, everyone. Let's put our listening ears on and get ready for our story. The Bible tells us about Jesus and his life. Our Bible story today tells us the true story of Jesus' death on a cross, his burial in a tomb, and what happens next. Jesus and his friends went to a garden. Jesus was very sad. He prayed to God, my father, if it is possible, let me save your people another way. But if this is your plan, I will do it. While Jesus prayed, his friends fell asleep. Get up, Jesus said, it is time. Then Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, came with a large crowd. Judas betrayed Jesus by kissing Jesus to show the crowd which person was Jesus. The men in the crowd arrested Jesus. Jesus was taken to the high priest. Are you really the Messiah, the Son of God? The high priest asked. Yes, Jesus said. He has spoken against God. He deserves to die, the men said. They did not believe Jesus was God's son. In the morning, the men took Jesus to see Pilate, the governor. Are you the king of the Jews, Pilate asked. Yes. Jesus said. What should I do with Jesus? Pilate asked. Kill him on a cross, the people replied. Crucify him. Pilate's soldiers made a crown of thorns and put it on Jesus' head. They put a purple robe around him and pretended to bow down to him. Then they led Jesus away. Jesus was nailed to a cross. They put a sign above Jesus' head that said, this is Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Two criminals were put on crosses next to Jesus. Darkness covered the land. Jesus cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? 
Jesus died and was buried in a tomb. A large stone was rolled in front of the tomb and Pilate's soldiers guarded the tomb so that no one would steal Jesus' body. On the third day, two of Jesus' friends, both named Mary, went to the tomb. They were very sad. Suddenly, there was a big earthquake as an angel came down from heaven. The angel rolled away the stone and sat on it. The guards fainted. The angel spoke to the women, do not be afraid, Jesus is not here. He has risen from the dead just as he said he would. The women were so happy. Jesus was alive. They left the tomb to tell Jesus' friends the good news. Just then, Jesus greeted them. The women worshiped him. Jesus said, do not be afraid. Tell my friends to go to Galilee. I will meet them there. The most important thing that ever happened is that Jesus died and was raised from the dead. Jesus is alive. When we trust in Jesus, we do not need to fear. Jesus brings forgiveness and life with God forever. Jesus died on the cross and is alive. Jesus dying on the cross and rising from the dead is the most important thing that has ever happened. Now it's time for our surprise egg. Harvey and Zai are about to open our giant egg to get some clues about what we will learn about next week. Hi guys, Hi. happy Easter. Happy Easter. And we're happy going Easter. to open this egg. Do you want to open the first? Okay. Oh. A snake! Oh, a snake! What's a snake to me? Is it good? Bad? Don't let the them in. What is wrong? What's this drink we doing in here? This rock? That's Real and not real steak and drink. I don't know. I think we'll find out next week what it all means. Three hours later. I haven't seen that snake in a while. <gasps> That's a rock. <laughs> don't worry everybody, I've caught the snake. He's gonna wait in here ready for next week. Thank you so much for joining us for City Light Kids. We will see you next Sunday. Bye. It worked. <laughs> That's genuine shock on my face from when it worked. I'm holding it upside down.